good morning friends myself amar so today i'll uh, try to uh, teach the subject of fish and of materials so so before going to the subject strength of materials the prerequisite for this subject strength of materials is engineering mechanics so uh, we shall briefly uh, see the course of it, engineering mechanics then we will go for the strength of materials so coming to the engineering mechanics so this engineering mechanics is uh, basically divided into two parts so that is the statics part and the dynamics part so these are the two parts you will be studying in the engineering mechanics so apart from these two parts you will be having another third part which will be coming in this semester that is strength of materials so in these two parts statics and dynamics yeah, the forces acting on the body will be analyzed on a rigid body only the uh, rigid body will be considered in this statics and dynamics whereas coming to the strength of materials we will be considering the uh, deformable bodies so in this deformable bodies which means that the body will be having some deflection due to the forces acting on the body for example this is your body you are considering and you are applying the force on this body this will be deflected whereas the rigid body members will not be deflecting so that is the difference between your engineering mechanics course and the strength of materials course so here in this strength of materials course let us know about the basic definitions one is the elasticity plasticity brittleness and ductility so as the name itself indicates the course strength of materials which means that if you are applying a force on the body it will be resisting some force so that is nothing but your strength of materials that will be analyzed on the different materials like steel concrete aluminum brass are different materials we will be studying or analyzing the materials so coming to the basic definitions one is the elasticity and plasticity the basic difference between these two elasticity and plasticity so you are considering a body and you are applying a force on the body it will be deforming and if you remove the force it will be regaining its original position that is nothing but we term it as a elasticity the best example is a rubber band if you take a rubber band and if you apply the force on that rubber band it will be deforming and if you release the force it will be again returning or uh, gaining its original shape and position so that is our elasticity coming to the plasticity if you are taking considering a body and if you are applying a force it will be deforming and if you remove the force it does not regain its original shape it will be in the plastic state that is nothing but our plasticity so the best example for this plasticity is any plastic material if you are considering any plastic material that does not regain its original shape so that is your plasticity and coming to the third term brittleness so what is the difference between the brittleness and a ductile material so when you are considering a uh, material for example you are considering a material of a concrete or a glass material if you throw the glass material on the floor it will be breaking instantaneously without any elongation that is nothing but term, uh, termed as brittle material and coming to the ductile material if you considering a material which will be elongated which will be strained that material is called as ductile material the best example is a steel so if you take a steel material if you take, uh, take a steel bar it will be elongated and then it will be break so that is the difference between the brittle material and a ductile material and after this the main term in the strength of materials called as stress so the stress is nothing but uh, let us consider an example you are having uh, a backlog in a first semester and coming to the second year you are having uh, another two backlogs so you are uh, summing up the backlogs are going on uh, summing up in the coming semester uh, if you come to the final year it will be greater than 4 to 5 subjects then you will be uh, having some pressure on you inside the body so the best example 
stress is nothing but if you are app applying a force on a body that body will try to resist that force so that is nothing but your stress the internal resistance offered by a body against deformation is called as stress and the stress is denoted by the symbol sigma which is given by the formula load by area so the load having the units newtons and the area is having the units mm square so the units for stress are newton per mm square are also you can write it as mega pascal mega pascal or newton per mm square and the stress is further divided into two types one is the normal stress and the other one is the shear stress are also called as tangential stress so this normal stress is further divided into compressive stress and tensile stress so normal stress and shear stress so the normal stress one is the compressive stress the other one is tensile stress compressive stress in the meaning in the sense if you are compressing a body you are applying a force towards the body the body will be compressed that is nothing but your compressive stress and if you are applying the force away from the body then the body will be tensioned that is your tensile stress and coming to the meaning of a shear stress if you are applying the body towards the parallel to the material parallel to the surface then that force is nothing but shear stress so all these type of stresses will be having the same units newton per mm square and coming to the next one strain so coming to the strain so it is the ratio of change in dimension to the original dimension if you are applying a force on the body then definitely some dimension will be changing on the body so if you are applying a force on this body in the tension direction then it will be elongated it will be elongated and the original dimension will be l so it is change in dimension by original dimension whether it may be a length or width or depth any dimension can be changed when you are applying a force on the body you are applying force in this direction the length will be increasing the other two dimensions will be decreasing width will be decreasing and depth will be decreasing so it is the ratio of change in dimension by original dimension and this strain is further divided into compressive strain tensile strain lateral strain longitudinal strain and volumetric strain so before going to all these types what are the units for this strain so i already said that it is the ratio of change in dimension by original dimension the change in dimension will be having the units of mm and the original dimension will also be having the same same units mm so it will be cancelled and it will be having no units for strain so coming to the compressive strain so when you are applying force towards the body it will be compressed the length will be decreasing so it is the change in dimension change in length by original length and coming to tensile strain and you are applying the body away from the uh, body it will be increased the length will be increased so it is again the change in length by original length but this is negative this will be positive compression is towards the body the length will be decreasing tension is away from the body it will be increasing and coming to the lateral strain the longitudinal and lateral the longitudinal direction is the length wise direction and the lateral direction is the width wise direction or depth wise direction so the lateral dimension says that it is the change in width by original width or the change in depth by original depth and the next one is longitudinal as already said longitudinal direction is nothing but change in the length so delta l by l it will be again delta l by l and coming to the volumetric strain your volume is having three dimensions one is the length width and depth so it is nothing but combination of all the three dimensions so here the entire volume will be changing change in volume by original volume so these are the all the strains you are having 
Thank you.